Um, okay, so Leonard, uh, could you tell me a little bit about, you know, with the uh, startup that you have, yes. creating portfolios for children yes. and for students in schools, Yes. what is the sort of niche, um, like, problem basically yeah. in schools in Hong Kong that you yeah. found that needed this, yep. this kind of product? So we, we bring this product because based on the problem that teachers do not have time to take care the kids inside the classroom, like 40 kids, mm -hmm. at the same time they need to do other paperwork and observation. So either they give up the, the children or they give up the report. So usually at the end of the day they do not have a quality mm -hmm. um, content to share back to the parents. And will become like once a month or once a quarter, uh, quarter become a line of very um, generic comments back to the, the, um, the parents. So this is what the problem we want to solve. Oh, right. I see. And, and how, how are you solving it? How is Kept Me solving yep. it? So what happens is um, there are certain observations that the uh, teachers in the classroom will do. Mm -hmm. And we know because we interview them, they actually build the product with us together. Mm -hmm. So they would categorize them and make it very easy to use in a few tap of a finger, uh -huh. like a button like this. Right. So inside the classroom, they just need to take a photo. And then with a few click, they can actually produce um, <coughs> content with pictures and icons and even text that mm -hmm. can build in, in here and insert it. So by the end of the day, um, the, the week or the course, the actual um, product is already pre-built with right, a right, beautiful right. looking things just mm -hmm. by simple ticking of the mobile device. Mm -hmm. That's why we use this to take away the burden of the paperwork. Right, right. So it's almost, yeah, so it's like you're, you're trying to surpass all that bureaucracy exactly, of, of schools, exactly, I yeah. see. Um, but um, are there a lot, could you tell me a little bit about Hong Kong startups in the education field? Are there, do you think there's enough being done in the education field um, in Hong Kong? Certainly not. I mean, we, education is one of the untapped um, sectors that in the um, startup world where we focus a lot of the fine tech and fintech mm -hmm. and um, even medical or other things, but in education it's quite, still quite traditional. Uh -huh. And we find that it's actually uh, quite a lot of challenge for us to go through that. So to be honest, we actually start uh, based in Hong Kong, but we very quickly move on to Australia, in to um, Singapore, mm -hmm. um, also Japan. And then lately we went to UK as well. Um, and we still can't actually go into Hong Kong too well as a basis. So oh. we, we mainly actually do export uh, technology to other countries. What, I what are some of the problems that <coughs> social, like, social entrepreneurs like yourself are facing in Hong Kong then in comparison with these other countries? Um, well, they're not that crowded in terms of population. Uh -huh. Sometimes one school, for example, in Australia, they could have 20 or even 10 students in a class versus Hong Kong. Um, they, the adoption rate of the technology inside the classroom um, actually quite, uh, in, in terms of like how they want to practically use it, is mm -hmm. compared to Hong Kong, is uh, w uh, way beyond Hong Kong standard because right. Hong Kong just had a fun thing and want to spend it. That's mm -hmm. what they care about sometimes. But in, Aus uh, in Australia, for example, they, they actually get the device and use it inside the classroom with all the protection. With milk powders on it or uh -huh. even changing diapers next to a iPad. Uh -huh. um, that kind of scenario is uh, very common in, in Australia, for example. Uh, in UK as well, in, in Singapore, they actually allow um, a lot of um, uh, people to use around uh, different devices um, doing the same tracking as well. Uh -huh. So I think that's sort of the ecosystem and the mindset from inside the industry is, uh, um, is different. I see, yeah. I see, okay. Well, it sounds very exciting. I hope it picks up yep. in Hong Kong. Definitely. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for speaking with me. Thank you. Great, thank you. Thank you.